Now in the first video we saw how to use uh, mock uh, turn on update or turn off update for mock functionality. Now we will see how to use uh, the transformation sets to control the, the mask buffer. Now by default um, all the uh, transfer function sets are built to the generation of mask buffer. So if you put a transformation in say set 1, set 2, set 3 or whatever, they will be used to compute your uh, mask buffer. Now if you want to restrict uh, mask buffer generation to a particular set, then you can use the functionality uh, mop and mask tf. Now when you do minus 1, then it will basically use all the sets. Now in this case we have uh, transformation in set 0. Now let me transformation in set 0 and turn this second uh, transformation which is showing the empty space uh, into set 0. Now this is uh, what we have turned on and now because the update is on you can see here it is on the mass buffer is calculated and then all the uh, uh, mask buffer values are switched on because of the transfer function now what we can do is we can set the mask buffer to use transfer functions from set 1 so mop mask tf1 it will use transfer functions to generate the mask buffer now you see the link in set 1 what we can do is now put in set 1 and you can hear that the function uh, in set 1 which is in this case this one here tf0 uh, is restricting the rendering that particular ring. So if we now play with this so function, you can see the, the changes in the rendering. Now this is happening to a correlation here, but the same effect will take place when we switch to high resolution by pressing F1. No, sorry, uh, by pressing L. L. So that way you can restrict your rendering by selecting the required transfer set, but most mostly you would be using uh, all the transformations uh, by turning off the update. Now for example, let's let's move back to uh, zero. So press space bar and then mop mask minus 1 so it will just take all the sets and the one okay so now you have this transformation here and you are in you have turned off the update. Now when I change the transfer function, you would like to update this uh, and what you can do is give mock and then an op or no mock and what you will do is just update the mask buffer and create the new mask buffer with the uh, white transfer functions. So mop and then no mop or nop will just update the uh, mask buffer even if your um, updates for the mask buffer are off. So if you have for example destroyed your mask buffer and you would like to regenerate with the current transfer option then you can just use mop nop. Uh, 